I think there are a lot of stories that focus on the queer experience uh, and make it either seem like how incredibly difficult and dangerous it is or how wonderful it is once you are out and everything in the world becomes better. And I don't think either of those two extremes are particularly helpful um, or particularly useful in terms of storytelling. I want to focus on uh, a time that I don't see talked about a lot when people are starting to be understanding, but the inherent homophobia is still really present. Uh, the math that so many of us do every day, even now, uh, any marginalized group is constantly having to figure out how much can I get away with, how much can I be myself before I become too much of that thing and am then in danger from the people who are meant to be my friends. Patrick is the kid who, when I was in high school, would have been referred to as, oh, that's gay Patrick. Like, we always knew who the one gay person was because they were the one who was more flamboyant and more uh, stereotypically gay. And I think this is no longer true in media, but still really true for a lot of people, where you can be you can be someone's gay friend as long as you're never too gay for them. You can be someone's gay friend as long as you never bring a boyfriend to a friend hangout. You can be someone's gay friend as long as you never expect someone to go to a movie about gay people. And I wanted to uh, show that as a, a subtle but really damaging form of toxic masculinity that plays pretty heavily into Patrick's life.